Does last week's second half performance against Man Manchester City change the mindset of Jose Mourinho? And I think we're all pretty much in agreement, probably not. He certainly won't change his mindset the way he goes and approaches games. And I think today showed that he didn't necessarily... I mean, again, sometimes it's the players on the pitch that aren't necessarily showing any spark. And I understand that at times. But is he setting up his side, giving him the message, let's go and get at them, let's travel with the ball, let's get crosses into the penalty area, get Romelu Lukaku into the game. They just didn't do anything. They didn't show any spark today. There was no life from them. They were, they were, it was lifeless. That's how it was today for Man United. And I just thought throughout the game, watching the game, it was pretty dull. That is what you get sometimes when you watch Man United. It's lifeless. The crowd was flat today here. The crowd where you could hear the moans and groans throughout. You could hear individuals shouting out. And United lacked, as I said before, in so many different departments throughout the pitch. And uh, and I think that just transcended into the, into, the, into the support. And a week out from being the hero in the derby, Paul Pog was hauled off after an hour. Yeah. Really had no effect on the game whatsoever. Another one of those performances we've kind of become used to from him where he seems to flit in and around the game without actually doing anything. Yeah, I think sometimes at, at, at times, as Manchester City did last week, if they go at Man United, then it, it creates gaps the other side and that maybe frees up Paul Pogba a little bit. But today, yeah, he was pretty ineffective, as as a number of his teammates yeah, actually were. were as well. They were, they were pretty effect, effective, uh, ineffective, should I say, throughout. And I think... The body language in coming off, he was surprised he was getting substituted. You could see him look to the ground first of all. He saw his number, he kind of ignored it at first, and then he kind of shook his head and went off. Uh, Jose Marino gave him a little round of applause as he was leaving, but that message was clear to me. You're chasing a game and you're leaving, or you're taking, sorry, you're one of your best players with your most expensive buy-off. That said it all to me today by taking Pogba off.